Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to call forward your extension to an external number. Let's say you're going to be away from your desk, uh, you're going to be working from home, you're going to be working remotely, and you want all of your calls to forward out to your extension. Uh, there's an easy way to do that. So you're going to go to the web client uh, for your phone system. This just happens to be the link to our particular web client. Uh, you should receive an, a welcome email from the phone system, from the 3CX phone system, giving you the link to this web client. If you don't receive that, just let your phone system administrator know, and they can send you that email and, and give you all the login information. So once you get to the portal, you'll put in your extension number and your password that was given to you. And then you're logged in. Over on the left-hand side, we're going to go to Settings. We're going to go to Call Forwarding. And you notice that there's these six statuses. So there's available, away, do not disturb, lunch, business trip, and exceptions. Typically, I use these two, available and away. If you look up in the top right-hand corner, there's a drop-down here. So currently, my extension is set as available, which means it's going to ring my desk phone. And since I'm in available right now in this area here, if someone calls my extension, it's going to ring for 24 seconds and then go to voicemail in all cases. So if a call is unanswered after 24 seconds, it goes to voicemail for an external call. If it's unanswered for 24 seconds for an internal call, it goes to voicemail. So in our case, what we want to do is we're going to want to set our phone to away. So this now tells the phone system that we're away from our desk and it's going to follow the logic that is in this away status. So it doesn't have a delay like it does in the other status. It's now going to go to an external number. So typically it's set up like this. And you'll just change it to an external number. And you'll put in a phone number. And all 10 digits. And you can click out anywhere and come back in. You can see that is saved. And then you just want to make sure that when you want to turn off call forwarding, you come back in here and you either change this, or what I recommend doing is changing your status back to available. That way, uh, it will normally follow this. And then when you change it to away, it'll follow this and you don't have to change it again. All right, good luck, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to come to our website at t9telecom.com.